What's in my 360 video bag? Or should I say bags, plural? The first one is the Think Tank Streetwalker hard drive. And I've had this backpack for nearly 10 years. I got it when I was working as a freelance videographer here in Sydney. And it was great back then for storing bulky video cameras, but it's also great for 360 cameras and big accessories. What I like about this bag is it's really spacious, but it's also modular. So you can move the Velcro dividers to create any kind of layout you like. I know when I'm shooting 360, I've always got a whole bunch of selfie sticks and tripods, sometimes light stands, and you need a lot of vertical space, which is really no problem at all for this backpack. Here's the charge selfie stick, got the Bushman monopod, best 360 monopod, Insta360 extended edition selfie stick and tripod, so everything fits, it's got plenty of space. Then you obviously use the smaller pouches for your cameras and smaller camera gear. The quality is really, really good. It's waterproof and just really tough. You could drop it and your gear would be totally fine. So if you're looking for a really good quality camera bag, I would definitely consider this one. My other camera bag is a new one that I've only been using for a short time, but I love it. It's the best 360 camera backpack. And what's good about it is it was specifically made with 360 cameras in mind. I love the orange lining because it means that black camera equipment easily stands out. Sometimes when you've got black or gray surfaces, your gear kind of blends in and it makes it harder to see what's in your bag quickly. Whereas orange, makes everything contrast really nicely. So it's actually got four big pockets here in the main compartment, which will easily fit cameras, accessories, and all kinds of small stuff in there. And then you can just use the main compartment for your selfie sticks and bigger items. It's got some smaller pockets around the outside. This one is really deep. It goes right to the bottom of the bag and two smaller zips here at the bottom for small accessories. It's got two loops on one side of the backpack. And what this is for is placing a selfie stick so you can connect your camera and film with it while you're walking without having to carry the selfie stick. So it's sitting nicely in the bottom and you could extend this selfie stick all the way up and it's going to stay in place while you walk. I wouldn't say the quality is quite on the level of the Think Tank bag because it is a cheaper backpack. However, for the price, it's definitely good quality enough. If you're looking for smaller bags though, look no further than Think Tank. I've been using Think Tank bags for a very long time. Again, back when I was a videographer, I would use Think Tank for all of my video accessories. And I love these cable management bags because they have clear windows. That means you can easily see what's inside. And I've used these a lot while I've been traveling. This one is really good for say a day pack. If you're going out for a day and you just need your camera, your power bank, a small tripod and a small selfie stick, it's really perfect for just the essentials. Then the slightly bigger one obviously holds more if you want to bring more. The quality even on these small bags is really good. I purchased these, I think again, about 10 years ago and they've lasted the test of time. I also quite like these new Think Tank tech pouches, which are good if you need storage for just your camera and its main accessories. For example, with this small one, it's only got two or three pockets, but you could put your 360 camera in the main one, two spare batteries in there, and your SD cards in this top zippered compartment. Then the other ones are slightly bigger versions of that with plenty of pockets to store all your stuff. The quality is super good. I can't see this material ripping and I'm pretty sure sure all Think Tank stuff is waterproof. Now moving on to the bigger question, what do I actually pack inside these bags? Literally every single day I get asked for gear recommendations and up to this point I've never ever released a full list of all the gear that I'm currently using and recommend until now. I've just finished writing a brand new ebook that I called the Ultimate 360 Video Gear Guide. And in it, I share every piece of gear that I'm currently using for 360 videos. You'll find my latest camera recommendations, monopods, car mounts, editing software, and everything in between. It's got only the best gear and none of the rest, including hidden gems that I don't share on YouTube. The best part is the guide is completely free as my gift to you for being a loyal YouTube subscriber. So go ahead ahead and download it by following the link underneath this video. And don't worry, I'm not gonna recommend that you buy a $10,000 camera rig or editing software that's way too expensive and complicated. I based the guide around Insta360 cameras so everything in it is budget friendly. So don't miss out on downloading your copy of the Ultimate 360 Video Gear Guide. Happy shooting.